Well, I want to thank you for being here. I hope that you are aggressive when you talk to members about these issues. No possibility that America can retain its position as the, the leader in the world in science and technology if we don't make these investments. No possibility. You can't get there from here. The focus that we need to have here in the uh, United States is to invest and invest deeply in, in the future. And what I see surrounding me here this morning is the future. We are undeniably in the middle of a global race on innovation, clean energy, and technology. And we need to have the human infrastructure, the capital infrastructure, and the physical infrastructure to make it all happen. As goes the engineers and the scientists, go the, the patents and the products and the profits down the road here. And so uh, your work is critically important to talk to members of Congress about what our responsibilities are. Fight them out of hell. This is my first time coming to Congress and speaking to my representatives and lobbying. This has been a wonderful opportunity. I am Hadia Nicole Green. I'm a graduate student in the physics PhD program at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. I'm working on developing a laser treatment for cancer using nanotechnology and biomedical optics. My aunt who raised me actually died of cancer. She didn't want to lose her hair from the treatments and so I started wondering if there was a way to use lasers and the science that I've learned from optical communication communications to develop a laser treatment for cancer. So since I started graduate school, I've been afforded the opportunity with the National Science Foundation funding to investigate how lasers can be used to target and selectively treat cancer. So I've been talking to the representatives today about the importance of creating the next generation of scientists, the importance of investing and making science funding a priority. Because of NSF funding, I'll be the fourth African American and the second African American woman to finish at UAB with the PhD in physics. Uh, we've been having discussions about how the funding for science has personally impacted me, providing the funding for me to do my research, and I would love to come back again. This has been an absolutely wonderful opportunity. It's something that I've been excited about for months. My family's been excited about it. This is something that I think is extremely important. We need to continue to communicate to our representatives and to Congress the importance of funding science. I would absolutely recommend other people to come. It's important work. We have an obligation to give back as scientists to our community. The nation needs what we offer.